Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Consolidating data refers to making a worksheet that adds, subtracts, or performs some other mathematical operation on information gathered from multiple other worksheets. For example, if you had a workbook that had quarterly accounting balances on four separate worksheets, you could create a single consolidated worksheet that adds the data from the four separate worksheets into a single annual worksheet. You can consolidate data from up to 255 different sources. You can even create links to the original source data from the consolidated sheet that will allow it to be updated when information within one of the original worksheets changes. If used in this way, consolidating worksheets becomes akin to performing a very large paste special. Before you perform a consolidation, be sure that you've opened all of the workbooks that contain the data that you want to consolidate. You will need to make references to the cells that contain the data needed for the consolidation, and the references are much easier to create when the workbooks are opened. Next, you must select the destination cell for the results first. This will be the cell that will be used as the upper left corner of the final consolidated data. Once you have this cell selected, you can then click the Consolidate button that appears in the Data Tools button group on the Data tab within the ribbon. That will open the Consolidate dialog box. In the Consolidate dialog box, you use the function drop-down to select the mathematical operation that you want to perform on the consolidated data. Next, you need to enter references to the cells in the worksheets that you want to consolidate into the All References list. You use the Reference text box to add the individual worksheet references to the All References list. To do this, you can click the Collapse Expand Dialog Box button at the right end of the Reference text box to collapse the entire Consolidate dialog box down to only the reference line. Then simply click on the worksheet that contains the first cell range that you want to consolidate. In this worksheet, you then click and drag over the cells that you want to use as the first reference in your consolidation. Then click the Expand Dialog Box button that appears at the right end of the reference text box to expand the Consolidate dialog box back into view. To add the reference that you just made to the All References list, Click the Add button to the right of the All References list to add the reference currently shown in the Reference text box into the list. Then repeat the whole process of selecting cell references over again until you've added all of the cell references needed by the consolidation into the All References list. Note that you don't have to click the Collapse Expand Dialog Box button if you can access the information. Next you need to determine how to consolidate the information within the cell references. The references can either be consolidated by category or by physical position. When you create a worksheet that's consolidated by category, the row and or column headings that are used in each reference become the categories by which Excel will consolidate the data in the final consolidated worksheet. So for example, if you're consolidating multiple worksheets that have the exact same heading, like quarter one and quarter two, then you'll probably want to consolidate by category. This allows Excel to use the headings to consolidate the data even if they aren't in the same physical place within each worksheet from which you're consolidating. Now also note that when you consolidate by category, it's imperative that you select the row and column headings in addition to the data that you want to consolidate from each worksheet reference so that Excel can consolidate the data based on matching the category names. Note that you must check either or both checkboxes for top row and left column within the Use Label In section in the lower left corner of the Consolidate dialog box based upon where the labels are in the cell references that you selected. 
Excel will consolidate the data using the labels that are in the position that you indicate. And this is a must when you consolidate by category. You can also choose to consolidate worksheet data by its position within the cell references you selected. In this case, Excel doesn't care what the titles of the rows or columns are. They shouldn't even be selected in your references when consolidating by position. All that Excel needs to know when consolidating by position is where the data is within the worksheet reference. If consolidating by position, you must use worksheets that have the data that you want to consolidate in the exact same position in each referenced worksheet in order for this to work properly and have the resultant consolidated data have any worthwhile meaning. When using this method, Excel simply performs consolidation of the data based on its physical location, meaning cell addresses, within the worksheet references that you select. Note that in order to consolidate by position, you simply do not check anything within the Use Labels in section of the Consolidate dialog box. Finally, you must decide whether or not to check the checkbox for Create Links to Source Data. This checkbox, if checked, will create a link back to the original data sources in the final consolidated data updating the consolidation whenever the original data changes. If you choose this method, your resultant consolidated data will contain actual references back to the source data cells. These inserted columns or rows contain a linked reference to the original data. Excel then outlines and hides these references so that the consolidated data appears like a normal outlined worksheet. You can click the plus and minus signs on the consolidated worksheet to view the detailed data it received from the original worksheet references. Note that if you do not check the Create Links to Source Data checkbox, then Excel will simply insert the consolidated data values into the destination area. However, if values in one of the original data sources change, it will not update the consolidated data. Once you're ready to perform the consolidation, just click the OK button in the Consolidate dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.